Hi, I'm Chris from OneSite Solutions, and in this video, we will be adding a JS ping fail email service to a supervisor. This is a useful service that can be applied to an M4 supervisor to automatically email a designated recipient on the event that a supervisor loses visibility with a JS. An example would see it deployed for remote site monitoring or even a bureau service. And uh, before we begin, we need to ensure that the supervisor PC has an internet connection with a default gateway and a DNS setup. This is to allow the supervisor to send emails um, via the internet. Uh, you will also need to ensure that you have um, an email service set up within your supervisor. We have covered this on a previous video, um, which we can link to in the description if you need any guidance on email services within Niagara. We've already implemented the email service um, in this example. Uh, under services, uh, we have email service. Here we've set up our outgoing email account that we'll be using to send any ping fail alarms to, um, which we've covered in the previous video. So adding the ping fail monitor to the supervisor is a simple process um, with a small amount of software implementation required, which we will go through now. So to start, connect to your supervisor um, and ensure the JS you wish to monitor has been set up within the Niagara network. For this example, I have a JS connected to a small local network, but the same would apply to devices connected over a wide area connection. Um, so to begin, we will need to open the alarm service wire sheet of the supervisor. Um, so if we navigate back to our tree and hold down control, double click alarm service, this will open up another tab so we can jump between the two. Um, here we will need to open the palette and select the Niagara alarm module. I already have this open and we will want to add an alarm class to the wire sheet. Um, for this, I'm gonna call it Jace failure. And you can call it as you wish. Add a console recipient from the alarm palette. And again, I'm going to call this J's failure console. And link the alarm to the root alarm. And then next, we're going to want to add an email recipient. Um, if you open up your email palette and drag on an email recipient. And this I'm going to call JS failure email. Link the alarm to the root alarm of the JS failure email. And double click it. We have some configurations to make. Uh, under the two box, uh, we're going to give it a name of OSS for this example. Our address, uh, this is the email recipient we want to add. Um, I'm going to go for OSS test at one site dot solutions. And then down under email account, we need to select the outgoing account that was set up previously and save that. And then back to our alarm service wire sheet. That's the alarm service software um, implemented. And all we need to do now is jump over to the Niagara network of the JACE that we wish to configure the ping fail alarms for. Uh, and expose the wire sheet. At the bottom of the list of modules, you'll see the OSSHQ. Uh, status module, so SSHQ is just the example I've given the JACE um, that we've set up within the supervisor. And this status output is what we're going to need to send the um, ping fail alarms. To do this, uh, we're going to need to drag onto the wire sheet a status DMUX module. And for this example, I'm not going to bother renaming it. Um, we need to alter the pin slots to expose the in status and down. All the rest we can remove. And take the status from the Niagara station 
and see in status of the status DMUX module. And then next we're going to need a Boolean writable, which we're going to call OSSHQ JSON fail. Again, you can name this as you please, um, but this will be what pops up in the um, subject of the um, ping fail alarm. So keep it within the naming conventions of your subscribed devices. And take the down status of the status DMUX and put that into in 16. And then within the Boolean writable, we want to add a um, change of state alarm extension. Boolean change of state alarm extension, drag that onto the module. Okay, that. And then within this, we want to configure the two off normal text. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to put JSON. fail and then in the two normal text we'll go healthy select the alarm class as the JS failure alarm class we added earlier and save and you may need to alter the parent dot display name depending on your setup within Niagara but we can do this at a later date if required um, in some cases, network quality and other issues can cause multiple ping fails, um, which can cause nuisance emails, um, which always have the risk of being ignored. Um, this can be avoided by adding a delay to the ping fail change of state alarm um, under the time delay. If we never get down to time delay there, we can add, in this example, I'm going to give it 15 seconds. Um, you can add anything really. Uh, you may want to add a figure around three minutes or so, but this is um, entirely your preference and depends on your JSON application and how urgently you would need to know that the device is down. Um, also, depending on the quality of the connection, sometimes it may drop out for a few seconds and you would want to avoid um, giving yourself nuisance alarms um, in the risk of them becoming too repetitive and getting ignored. Save that. Um, and that's that's the software implemented for the ping fail. Um, so if we come back to our device in the Niagara network and we disconnect the JACE from the network, what I'm going to do is just pull the plug out. Uh, that would simulate a, um, a network failure or a power failure. And momentarily the supervisor will lose visibility of the JACE and go into alarm. Okay, so here we can see that the uh, the JACE has gone down and is in alarm. Health state is fail. Um, if we go to the Niagara network under the Y sheet, we can see that the um, status has carried through to the alarm. And that is in true, which is an alarm state. And um, under the JACE failure console, we've also received an alarm from that under JACE fail. Uh, the source being our OSS HQ JACE failure. And if we jump over to our email inbox, we've also received an alarm um, from the Niagara Alarm HQ, uh, OSS HQ chase failure. Um, so that's proved that the uh, email service has um, alerted us to the JACE going offline. Um, we've now proved that the uh, healthy state works and um, by reconnecting the JSON and giving it some time to come back online and hopefully we should get a healthy status um, from that device when the supervisor sees it again. Okay now we can see our device is back online and the health is okay within the Niagara network and um, the alarm has cleared from the Boolean writable and we've got a, um, a healthy status in our alarm console. So if we jump over to our email now, we should see um, that we've got a JACE failure has come back as healthy. Um, and there we go. That proves um, that we've connected the JACE back to the network. This concludes the setup of the JACE ping fail alarms in the Niagara Supervisor. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.